Welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Baden, and in today's video, we're back in XCOM Chimera Squad. I wonder if that made noise. Just rub my hands together. Oops, not just hit the mic, so let me just stop. Back in Chimera Squad, uh, what do we do when we end the last time? I know we brought this down because we don't have. We can't let that build up for all seven days of this investigation. I think we're going to bring down the investigation too because we don't need too much. Actually, no, we're done with all the fuel teams, so we don't need any more intel. So this one's pretty useless to us. We have probably enough Illyrium to get us anything we want and enough credits to do the same thing. So at this point, we're really just pushing to end the game. And probably right after the game ends, I'm going to go straight into another series of this because I like this game. Plus, there's, what, three or four characters that we haven't seen yet? I know there's Blue Blood, there's um, the Snake Girl, and then there's Shelter, Twerk. Twerk is the snake girl. I think those three are the ones that we haven't seen. So I want to do Ray another Phoenix series. Set up in this warehouse. Find any data that indicates why. To uh, see those characters and also play around with more fully leveled up characters. Because once we got some characters that fully leveled, they just weren't in the on the team anymore. Appreciate this entrance gets plus one armor for the breach. No, for the encounter. We'll give that to Verge because he doesn't have that much health to begin with. No send terminal and axiom through this one. Does terminal get the he doesn't. I don't think there's a point in trying doing it this way though, where Axiom gets to do his little scream that might panic people. Cause he has no rage right now, so it's not really gonna do much. So I think actually these two should be switched. Axiom should go through there and Chev should go through the secure entrance. Cause Axiom taking damage is a little more beneficial. I'm still not sure if his Berserk will come and hit one of us, but so far it hasn't. And it could have, I think, once on Zephyr. And we got away with it, so... I'm going to assume that he won't hurt our own people. We got a lot of good looks in this one, too. A lot of 100% and... Can, is that dead? It must have died, because... I don't see any other reason why we can't shoot at it. This is a 100% chance. There's also the alert enemy. Which means it could do something. Yeah, that's fine. And then, who is this? I give her, if she has 100% chance, I'm just going to make her take it. I feel like she's missed the most shots compared to her actual aim. And then that worked out too since Chap had 100% shot on the, uh, the alert enemy. So, that's a clean entrance. Stuff got hollow targeted? I don't see why. Because I don't think we threw a hollow targeter in here. She scanned in. And then everyone else just walked in. He didn't even do his yell. All right. Great Phoenix reinforcements on approach. Protect that data. You hear that? More fish for the grinder. That's funny. I think Axiom is one of the most efficient um, killers that I have, though. Because he does smash everybody. Actually, I don't think I got an upgrade to make that unconscious, but he does just pretty much kill stuff. Like when we first got Zephyr, I think our Zep Zephyr still does kill in this save. I think the next save I'm definitely going to do the other one where she doesn't kill as much because that does make it useful, especially my since it also gains more damage uh, when it does it that way. So I think we might have negated the first two. No, okay. But he might have to move again. No, he's just going to shoot from there. No permanent damage. Need me to take a look? Retaining target. Who did he hit? Did they both hit? No, okay. So we'll have you... Not Adrenal Surge. I keep almost hitting that one. We'll have you use Psych up again. Pumped up. And then we're going to use Smash on them from this angle. I think I have a Turncoat Grenade. Are these two grouped up enough for a Turncoat? They are. So I'm going to do this. That way they shoot at each other. Let's see if they actually hit each other too, though. Engaging target. I think the number six should be able. To, never mind. I was gonna say number six should be able to do some damage to number eight, but eight just killed it straight out anyway, so it didn't matter. Any effects? No. He has less a chance to do effects, but I think he does more damage overall. While uh, Zephyr always does an effect, but. Target. Doesn't always kill necessarily. Uh, Actually, she has a pretty good chance to kill also. Stay so, focused. no, he's already raging. 
Kraken Skull. Uh, okay, cool. He started going towards Vergeronk. We just talked about how he doesn't hit the, our own team, so let's hope it stays that way. It's a good thing he landed where he did, though, since he's because uh, he's actually safe. Where's number two at? Let's. I don't think we need. To, oh, never mind. We probably should use safeguard on uh on hang on where is it at there it is been done you safeguard on axiom because his health is getting a little too low for comfort well not even too low for comfort but just already took a bunch and let's go for number two if we get this shot then that's good if not okay Next time I'll aim for the soft part. see that's what i mean she grazes almost every time which is why i gave her the stock because i knew she would probably miss a, the most shots of anyone that's gonna hurt. Never mind. Please keep wasting your effort. Hilarious. Okay. So let's get Cherub out here. And he can take a few shots. He can use lightning cans on them out in the open. And that's just a free shot. Whose turn is next? Verge? How much health do they have? They have three health, so his uh mind flare won't kill that one. He could use Stupor on them and then use Mind Flare to take out a few of them at once. Who's number number three is next? Okay, then I'm gonna use my other shot on them and give Axiom the shield. And now we can take this other shot. Oh. I thought it said, I moved, I forgot, I did. No, did I move? Someone, yeah, okay, I guess I did move. Whatever. Um. This does 2-2-3 two, two, damage, so I might take them out. But we're definitely going to use... we we'll use Battle Madness on you, because we can for sure take you out, but you might turn and shoot the number... Uh, what is that? Number 2 and take them out? That you would shoot number 5 and do more damage to them. See, okay, that's pretty cool. And then this way, we're taking out 3 people instead of just the 2 that we thought we were going to get. Hostiles and that down. makes them unconscious too, so that's gonna help us start gathering more uh, intel from mission. Although it's not as big of a deal this time, I think I want to use Verge more too in the next uh, run through. I feel like he's pretty powerful for our, how much we were able to actually use him in this one. So how many? Okay, we have three waves to protect from. Let's see, they're coming from here and here. So we'll put Terminal over here. Having her overwatch this garage door. If you must. Having her overwatch the garage door. I'll shoot anything that moves. Good coverage. You can give a shield out now to I think from that angle terminal might be the next one is gonna be uh unprotected because of this these two back angles. And then I'm gonna have you overwatch. Why do you have to no you don't have to reload? I'm gonna have you overwatch this door. Keeping a lookout. And then Verge can, he can move into here. I don't want to move him too far, but I don't think this is the only place that we can get him to that has good cover from this angle. Have each person like in good cover from the angle that they're uh, watching. I will fire if they reposition. Okay, so we got two people out this door. So one of them isn't going to take a shot. These, these is two paladins. And their support psionics. Okay. Um, what? Oh, it is only two. I thought it was three. Sack up. On the edge. I wonder if the what the words that he says can uh give a cue to if he's about to berserk or not. Ooh, I was hoping that would kill. I guess not though. If Terminal uses Subdue, we can take them out right now. She'll just be out of cover. Stay down. And you can give yourself a shield now. And then we're going to shield bash them and, and hopefully take them out. Or does shot do more damage? A shot will deal 4 to 5. A shield bash will do 3. So we're going to take a shot instead, actually. Unless he misses, we'll do the damage for sure. And we, yeah, okay, so that's fine. Double the damage we would have if we just did a shield bash. Everyone around them is 
everyone around the paladin is shielded so anyone who can really go for it is very oh i guess they do still shred armor through the shields hmm. all right well we're very we want to put them in a potential stupor they are psionics so i believe that means they have a better chance at actually resisting this at least the stupor one is fine. We don't want a full resist, which we ended up getting anyways. So I could have him, I think I'm gonna have him overwatch. Overwatch. I'm gonna assume we're gonna go from this door. Ah, that was don't pretty get good. Twitchy. More paladins are coming through. Alright, we only have one more wave to defend through, Who wants which isn't too bad. The only thing that we have that's kind of going not for us is that we had an overflow on the, um, on the wave. So basically we didn't take everyone out from the last wave for the, to this one. You're likely to take them out. Yeah, okay. Deal max damage when you don't have to, but Gives when you do need it, to move. whatever. Uh, fire weapon. You have a 78% chance to deal damage to them. Or I could just throw a plasma grenade. Will it hit both of them though? It won't. So, we'll reposition to over here. Headed worm needed. That should negate their cover since they, uh, we have a different angle on them. Yeah, 100% chance. So now we're take them out. And we won't get another turn with you before the next uh, thing. So we'll put you in Overwatch over that door. I'll cover you. Turtling. I had a feeling they were going to shoot at him, so I just left them alone. The only downside is that they shredded armor. But he already had an extra bit of armor, so he's still back to normal with it. Uh, we'll go for a stupor on them. And then we're, we're also going to overwatch this door. I assume this is going to give us it I in the pattern. See. Otherwise, we'll give us this door, right? So, yeah. Thanks for looking but out. I think both of them are going to shoot at the first thing that comes through. Doesn't actually split up the shots per enemy. Yeah, okay. Which, that's not bad because we did, were able to take that one out. You can use Psych Up again. Ready for action. I think you're almost maxed out on the uh, rage too. Hello, A critical that did three damage. Whatever. All right. They're likely not gonna move. What's our chances on the other guy? I guess we might as well take this shot, right? Did we kill them? All right. That's fine too. It was the training. You can give a. Sh well, you use lightning cans first. If we use shield bash right now, will they die? Yeah, for sure. The only thing is trying not to hit Verge with it. Oops. Is that going to hit him? It didn't give me the little thing saying that I was going to hit a teammate. So I guess that doesn't actually matter. I think I can worry about that a little less than. 80% chance to get an extra 20%. Or 20 intel. I'm still confused for those two episodes that we didn't have sound. The decision to release eligible extraterrestrials from the detention camps was extremely conscientious. The inter interregnum council would never have agreed to it, but because the proposal came from XCOM itself, the council had to listen. Uh, from Strange New Worlds, the erosion of the national concept. Ooh, lots of upgrades. Okay. Do you think we should swap call signs? To confuse everyone? <laughs> I'm in. No, because I work so often with computer terminals. And you, you patch people up. Do you not like your call sign? Everyone makes assumptions about why I chose it. Well, everyone's an idiot. You slap software together like I close wounds. It's a thrill to watch you work. Thanks, terminal. And I do like your call sign. Reminds me of how you are on the battlefield. Are you saying I move at terminal velocity? Your mouth does. <laughs> Patch 
changes. Don't change a thing about you. I think we heard that one at the end of the last episode, so kind of annoying that they repeat. Um, I don't know about this one. Fear factor, upgrade smash to panic nearby enemies, or automatically. He does take a lot of damage, so I think the healing is probably going to work better for us. Then who, who else leveled up? Let me make sure I touch on everyone. This means that he's also going to be healing from each, uh, virtue is 1 HP for each enemy in the neural network at the end of its turn. We tend to get two people in the neural network every time, so he'll be healing at least two a turn, uh, for most of the encounters. And then terminal, no, not terminal, uh, pa not Patrick, wow, Chair breached his last, uh, level up too, so he has supercharged, which means that... Sheriff spends all store charges to increase the primary weapon damage of allies while acting, while placing a hollow targeting effect on all enemies. The duration of the effect increases with charges, one turn, or one use per mission. So, it's pretty useful, uh, furthering his ability to buff teammates. And, do we have anyone that we want to see more of? I want to see more of Shrapnel, because I think he's now our lowest level besides Patchwork. And then Godmother's in there. It's less three days. I guess we'll take... Oh, this is going to bring down the unrest in this area. So we should probably do that one, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, new supplies. Scavenger market. I think we already have this gun, don't we? We only have one person who can use a submachine gun anyways. And I think we already have... Uh, um... What are they? Legendary weapons? Epic weapon for them? That didn't even click on the right person. You have... No, you don't have one. I'm mixing up my gameplays now. So I guess I'll take it then, right? Might as well. More epic weapons for the collection. Alright. Uh, a region weave? And overdrive serum. For utility items on that one. And then an epic assault rifle. I'm gonna go for the region weave. Because it sounds like it's gonna let us heal our uh, team. What time is it? Oh, it's only been 17 minutes? Alright, cool. I don't know why I feel like way longer. Probably because I've been sitting straight through. I went straight from playing to doing this one. The shot grenade, I feel like we don't actually use and should take something else. We could take. Uh, we can't have two different rounds, can we? No. I'm, I like him more with the AP rounds. I guess the shot grenade is the only thing. Oh, I guess we can take a gas grenade. How much damage? This does two damage to robotic enemies and stuns other enemies. That's why we brought it for the stunning effect. Okay, are they done with their stuff? No, we still have one more day for that. Um. Yeah. Okay. I guess improved training will be useful, so we can get down with a lot more of these final uh level up type things or t final trainings for each person. Let's go straight into it. I don't think I just looked at something that should have been applied. Friendly VIP is definitely here. All right, let's see who we're saving this time. It, should, it better not be Floyd Tesseract again. That's all I'm saying. We'll get the running gun ability. We'll give that to Axiom. Uh, we'll have plus 50 dodge. And yeah, everyone else gets plus, plus 50 dodge. So it's really the order that we want people to go in through. Everyone's going in through a window, so I actually won't get a chance to do his door thing. And it looks like... I think I want Axiom to lead through, though. Actually, I want her to lead through. And then we'll have him second. That way we can levitate anyone who we feel like we don't want to attack. I'm having her go first to see if she even hits a shot. So when we have alert and... um. Surprised enemies, so we don't have to worry about that too much. The Dominator. I don't think we've seen them yet, have we? I think I kind of want to deal some damage to them. Because I don't know what they can do. And, of course, she missed. That's why I said if she even hits her uh, her shot. We have 80% there, 100% here. If we hit, we'll kill, right? No, we might kill. Oh, well, let's try it. Yeah, might as well. They're hollow targeting now, which is a good thing because the gray still counts for it. So we'll take the shot on them. They should be dead, right? I think so, since Cherub can aim at them. And since it's just the Cobra left, we'll take that shot. 
Oh, if you can make surrounds, that would be kind of... Oh, he, could, he couldn't see them. Oh, well. Hunker down is fine. Uh, we'll drop a plasma grenade. Uh, this one doesn't have as big a range, so I guess we won't drop a plasma grenade. And number two. They're probably going to resurrect some stuff. It says this is going to hit, but I'm not sure. Well, I guess we can try this and be sure. It better have done the damage. It didn't. Okay, so I need to... I think I checked that already, too. So I guess I should have paid more attention, but whatever. Waste of a grenade. It's fine, though, because when we brought up zombies, which... Isn't the worst thing, since I know the zombies move really slow and we can really just kill the necromancer to end all of that. Oh, they still get a shot. Oh, I guess they didn't move, so... They think you an appealing target. Why did he rage? Uh, I guess they were okay. So the hit then. Uh, flesh wound. That was Let weird. Let me draw their fire. All right, we'll have. Yeah, okay. They're also a psionic. We use battle madness on you. you. Not gonna lie, that always creeps me out. It's weird how it's red at first. It's like it's actually grabbing your minds. And then we use stupor on the dominator. And at least maybe take out the chance for it to move. Now nah, it looks like it resisted it. But they are in the neural network still, so. If the dominator does damage to Verge, Verge will be able to heal it back at the end of his next turn. Side disable. Oh, interesting. That gets them out of the neural network. That's annoying. And I was just talking about how that would work too. Take an action after dashing. Coming for you. Let's go ahead and get this evidence. Why can't I use smash? Oh, I guess we can't move, right? We can take a shot, 100% chance on you, 63 on you. What about the the Legionnaire? We have 100% chance on the Legionnaire. But I feel like taking the shot on this Paladin is going to be more useful. What about Rapid Fire? Uh, fire twice in a row at an enemy. It should kill, right? If we fire twice. Or is that... It doing all of the damage. Okay, no, there we go. So we don't have to deal with them anymore. They have their berserk removed. We're probably gonna take a shot at. Oh, not what I expected to see. And he's immune to the poison. Interesting. I right, we use lightning hands on. We're doing it on number five. And then we can use shield bash on them. We'll give you yourself a, a shield. Because we're finna step out there. Then we'll do shield bash on you from this angle. Yeah, and that removes all of those uh, zombies that they had and brings us around to the Legionnaire's turn. Who... I think we're gonna try and take a shot on. Actually, let's use this on Axiom. Because we know Axiom has a 100% chance to hit them right now. Uh, smash. No, shot. This is what we're trying to do. Okay. If we use Subdue on them. We'll take them out for sure. So let's do it like this. I should have went to the other side just in case. Oh, I forgot about the Dominator, actually. Verge is no longer stunned, but that means he's only going to be able to do one thing for this turn. We'll do... We'll put them in a stupor, I guess. Because if we put them in a stupor, they won't get their turn for sure. 
But I guess the Dominator could negate the psionic abilities. Sorry, I was moving my chair if it sounded funny. Now it looks like they're just gonna take a shot this time. On chair. Oh. Nah, okay. Mind control? That sounds dangerous, especially with Axiom. Axiom is mind controlled. Okay, you took damage from the poison, and they're still stunned. Okay, well this isn't... Hello? That Why did he just shoot? It's my turn, isn't it? Whatever. Ouch. You okay? And we'll just use a, a shield bash here. I made the arrest. Which should give us back Axiom, right? Okay. Right in time for his turn. You psychope. Wired up. And then smash. Do you have 100% chance to shoot? Stuff is lagging behind. I just realized because Cherub just did the noise for him uh, using his shield basically. And then you can just use Mind Flay. Because that'll kill them for sure. Or make them unconscious, I guess. It does make a noise as if you like squeeze their brain, which is kind of gross. I just realized. Okay. Now, do we get a door breach? Because Axiom's rage is pretty high. We'll do a main door on Axiom. Does Cherub have any? No. Last thing with this entrance will automatically... Okay. Activate Overwatch after the breach. And then Verge will go through here. Also with the Medi Patch. Heal everyone Making up at this point. Follow me. Hold up. Take your medicine. <sighs> Is anyone panicked? Interesting how it's not giving us the camera for Cherubs. Yeah, I was gonna say. It, gave, it, did, it did Verge thing before we actually got to see it. Or see them. We could just failing these two shots. And then we'll... Levitate you, I guess? So that negates the aggressive and alert enemies from this point. We can take them out completely. Oh, never mind. We didn't actually kill with the shot. But it doesn't matter. And we can deal some damage to them. Might as well take the chance. Yeah. They're going to shoot a cherub. They're not going to shoot a cherub. Uh, this is that mission that... Uh, Rescue and recover. Are this uh what is that? Also oh, faceless? I think I, if I remember correctly. The hell? Yeah, it's a faceless. I don't really know anything about them. Um, besides that they look terrifying, honestly. Okay. Let's use a, a shock grenade. Oh, we got a pretty grenade good hit out. on this one too. It doesn't look like the faceless was stunned, I don't think. Or if so, I don't know how much they were stunned for. Uh, let's give a kinetic shield to, I guess, Verge. Actually, we'll give it to, yeah, we'll give it to Verge. We use lightning hands on them in the back to get them out of the turn order. And then we can take another shot on, I guess, the faceless since it's a 100% chance. I forgot she was in Overwatch. That helps Next out. Aim for the soft part. Even though she still missed, they are uh, hollow targeted now. Gross. We're not trying to see all this. Did he rage? No? Okay, cool. Removing target. Yeah, good thing we have him the shield. She charges at two. Stupor. Or battle madness. We use battle madness. They have, a, they have an angle on all three of them. Never gets old. Or you can just miss. That's that's fine too, I guess. 
And then uh, you can use stupor on. They have a, they have shots on more people. I don't know what the face this is gonna do. So maybe let's keep it that way for as long as possible. Cause I'm pretty sure we still don't know what pallet is gonna do. My oof. Uh, I don't even know what a four stun is gonna mean. Let's get just lose two turns. Oh yeah, and there's the heal too that we just got in the last um. On his last up upgrade. Promotion. I've been calling them upgrades, like they're pieces of technology. Up. Turncoat? Can all the... Well, I guess it's only really going to affect one person in there. So when you smash on... When you smash on the number three... We'll try and put Axiom in the middle, just in case he, uh... Berserk's at this point, because his rage is pretty high. No, okay. Locking target down. That's not the worst Fine. thing. It didn't hit bone. Especially if he can rage and uh hit. okay, no, he can't. Number two. Oh, I guess that's a thing with uh getting close to that unit. Like with um Oh, I forgot about them. Shoot. We don't have an angle on them again, do we? Okay, that's fine, because the hollow target it. Like if uh, stuff gets close to to Zephyr, she'll kick target them. Acquired. Same thing. Off the crest. Over here. Come after me. Put now a shield on him since he's getting kind of low. And then we'll shield bash. Oops. Let me try again. Did not mean to do that. Button kind down. of annoying. I was trying to check who was who. I'm probably gonna shoot terminal now, right? Yeah. Oof, what the shotgun too. Uh, again? You are still up. Good. Good thing we gave him that shield. That probably would have killed him at that point. And Cherub's... No, he's not maxed out. I was saving his charge before, but... We see how that went. We use Battle Madness on you, actually. I wish you could check how stunned an enemy was. Did I use Stupor instead? I did, okay. Uh, we'll use... Uh, we'll use... You have an Acid Grenade. Which I guess we'll just drop on Stay them. Down. We still have to secure the hostage, too. Are they immune to poison? I just realized. I don't think so. Let's team up with, uh... With Terminal. That way she can run into the room and secure the hostage. And then we're going to... Use Battle Madness on... Or we can use Mind Flay. Let's use Battle Madness on number six. And I don't know what this face is gonna do. I don't know if it's gonna be fully stunned still, because it had one plus four, which would be five. So we're really just gonna have to wait and see with that. But Verge is back up to full health because of his um the regen thing that he has. You can dash all the way into here and get around this corner. On the run! I don't know why the thing would bust open that door like that because that was kind of giving us protection. Is the face this healing? I just realized that. It does look like it is. And we can't move from this spot. But I'm going to take a shot on the faceless actually. And try and take them all. Yeah, we can take them all the way out too. I think that's the only thing we can do at this point also. So... Oh, I guess he could have healed himself. I should have had him do that actually. Off the board. So we don't have to deal with them anymore. Closing on target. Okay, Next he's he's like almost dead now. This is why he keep me around. They're stunned. So we'll give a kinetic shield to Axiom. Shields up.
we shield blast them it'll do four damage if we take a shot on them it'll do four to five damage so either way we're not going to be able to take this out so we might as well do any damage that we can we want a critical actually so that's not too bad although it looks like it's a low road critical Still that's not the worst that could happen who can you see from here? Okay, Battle Madness on them. And he has almost everyone in his uh, near network now. Actually, I think he does. He has every... Oop. Well, it's funny to say every living, but I think it, that still holds true, actually. And he hasn't even moved from this spot. And he's gotten, I think, two or three people killed. If we use Banish on them, we'll take a few shots at once. Right? Yeah, okay. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure it'll shoot more than once. It'll shoot until they die if the first shot misses. Gotta get moving. Okay, what do they need to escape through? That's not the worst. It's definitely not the worst move we could have. Number three is going to be next. So we'll put them right here. We'll use second wind. Send Gremlin to clean and stabilize all allies. Yeah, second one. Hey, it's her final form. That's funny, because it is her final promotion. Yeah, that's pretty useful. Although Axiom does still need to heal. Yeah, let's get, let him use his nano medkit on himself. And he should have the thing that, um, hang on. Let's make sure we do this right. He should have the thing that lets him uh, run, yeah, straight through. Okay. Critical of five. Okay, cool. Because he did do a critical of three as well. It's going to be judgmental of that. Didn't want to use the word critical again. Don't go for the VIP. I think the VIP is immune to poison. All right. You. Lightning hands on them. Target down. Don't see movement. Okay, now both of you actually need to start moving because we have you that took the longest way to rotate the camera. You two are the furthest away from the point that you could possibly be. That that has to cleaned up pretty good actually. Okay, and a kinetic shield on the 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 VIP. Protected from all angles. For some reason, it says that uh terminal was immune to the poison. I don't know if that means he's immune for now or what. Um, so I'm gonna try and move her through it, but if it starts saying I'm gonna take damage, then she might be stuck there for a second. We'll use Mind Flay here because we might take out that last unit. Okay, cool. Now what? Okay. We'll have them get as close as possible. Actually, this might be as close as possible because otherwise they're gonna have to come back and up through. Yeah, I'm gonna just start dashing everybody. I don't know why she's immune to that poison. Probably some some uh, promotion that we got and then forgot about. Plus two regeneration. We can start taking people out. Somehow he never. I think he only berserked once, if he did at all this mission. Uh, hello. Oh, okay. Getting low on ammo. Interesting. Don't know why it had to move like that. I think we can get everyone out right now. The only person we might not be able to get out is Verge. Yeah, that's annoying because I keep thinking that I messed up somehow. So we'll put Verge right here. Then on Terminal's turn, we can use Cooperation if she can get out and get everyone out at this point. It's weird how the enemies are coming from the way that we're going out. She cannot reach that point. And we already used the uh, Motel Inhibitor. So we're gonna have her overwatch the door. I'll shoot anything that moves. On the move. Can you see any of them? You cannot. And we don't have team up either. We'll use Battle Madness on the number two unit. 
I should have used stupor actually. That way they would have for sure lost their turn. Because even though they're going to shoot here and be berserk, they, the berserk doesn't definitely take away a point of their turn. And the issue is that we don't want them to get any closer. So maybe berserk wasn't the move there. Yeah, because they just took it off. Target acquired. They still missed there. I don't know why they would go for that shot on Verge. Um, we'll move her here, then have her cooperate with Verge. Oh, I can't have her. Oh, it had a dash. I should have did... Well, either way, actually, this wouldn't have worked out. I knew that one. So we might take some damage with Verge at the last minute, but... They should be fine. They might not hit this. Yeah, okay. I'm going to say that's a tough angle if they do hit it. So let's get out of here now. Could have used Mind Flay just for that last little bit of botherance, I guess, but whatever. Yeah, he did almost die for a second. We almost lost him in this mission, so probably not the best one. I think it only gives us Gravely Wanted if they actually go down. Oh, what's that? Hammer and tongs? And tongs? Alright, whatever. Construction work is supplemented by android labor. Built for Nova Heights from the ground up in two short years. Integrated vertical farms, essential services, and aut autonomously powered the crown jewel of City 31. Gives a glimpse of what future city centers can be. Replication of non-City 31 residents available by late 2041. And we finished our masterwork pistols, so we just gotta buy that now. Oh, uh, I guess masterwork submachine guns. We do want to put shrapnel back on the team, though. I think I'm going to replace Axiom with shrapnel because I feel like they fulfill the same role, kind of. And then we'll make sure that Axiom's in here. Is she done with her thing yet? I feel like it's taking forever. Probably because it is taking forever. It is five days. What is this? Reduce city unrest by one. Um, I think everyone else is fine. Yeah, everything is where we want it to be. So in the next episode, then, we should be able to do this this mission. We use, uh... We do this one. Yeah, we'll be greedy and do Dragnet there. Uh, if ignored, the security field team in the district will be reduced to level 2. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we got everything down to pretty much zero now. Gray Phoenix is abducting aliens with highly technical skills. Engineers, scientists, and technicians. Put an end to the abduction so these people can return to their families. Alright, so it looks like we're going to be saving a bunch of people in our next episode. So why didn't you ever name your gremlin? I stopped doing that years ago. What do you mean? Didn't yours make it through the war? No. I've had this one since midway through training. Midway? What happened to your first gremlin? Blasted by a muton during the war. So, the one that you replaced in training? Which one is that? 43? No, 45. I always forget the pair I lost to lightning. Yep, yeah, but that's going to be all for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll set up the new trainings and spec ops in the next episode. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow all the other socials in the description below. Uh, bye.